up, BET? You here rocking with your girl Tashara, your new 106 and Park host. I'm here with the livest audience on the livest show that plays your favorite music videos every single day. I'm here all the way from Miami, the beautiful 305 and the 347 area code. New York is so beautiful. I love it. I love the vibe, the energy, the love. It's so genuine. It's real. I'm feeling y'all. But without further ado, I'm going to jump right into the top 10 countdown. Here's number 10 video, Wale Bad. What's up, y'all? I'm back. I'm here to talk to you guys about the new movie that's releasing called Waist Deep. Oh my gosh, when I went to the premiere, I was so in love with the things that were going on in this movie. I don't want to give too much away, but we do have a detailed sneak peek after I give y'all this intro. Basically, Tyrese and Megan Good, the two stars, one of my two favorite actors and actresses that's in the game right now. They're basically playing a Bonnie and Clyde role. I know y'all maybe had dreams about, you know, robbing a bank with your significant other or, you know, just doing something crazy and hiding and sleeping in different houses and mansions, breaking and stuff, you know, things you get to do on video games. But they all made it come to life in this movie. And that's why I love them so much. They're so surreal, so everything is just perfect in this movie. Y'all gotta go check this out. Like, this movie is crazy. Just make sure y'all go see this movie this weekend, okay? All right. Y'all remember that little 16 year old boy? And he used to be singing to all those little girls on the, on the sidewalk, dancing and singing and his little cute outfits with the big t-shirts. You remember that boy. That boy has grown into a grown man now, but we got his throwback song, Yo, Excuse Me Miss. I don't know your name, but excuse me miss. I saw you from across the room. Here's Chris Brown with Yo, Excuse Me Miss. He's authentic. Real name, no gimmicks, no game, no scrimmage. He's not playing with y'all this year at all. The beast, the mogul, the brand. Some may know him as Jimmy, some may know him as Aubrey, but we all know him as Drake. One of my top favorite artists in the game right now. He's trending like crazy every single day. We got him backstage, ready to come out here and parlay with you guys. Give it up for October's very own Drake. <laughs> We got Block for Block in the building, here to release their new video called Suicide. They could have chose anywhere, but they chose to premiere it here on 106. That should tell y'all that we got the liveest show with the liveest audience, right? Also, I know y'all love luxurious things and collard greens, and who else other than Schoolboy Q himself, TDE's very own, here to talk about the promotion of his new album, Oxymoron, dropping this month. Make sure y'all go ahead and grab that. And we also got K. Michelle in the building here to perform her new single, Can't Raise a Man. We just got all the celebrities today, huh? We got a lot of surprises for y'all. I told y'all to stay tuned in. And who else other than the best Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade's very own, Miami Heat's very own, Gabrielle Union here to talk about the release of her new film, A New Me. She's here to give y'all some pinpoints, some tactics and some tips if those of y'all trying to go into the acting field y'all should really have some questions lined up for her because i know i do but y'all get rid of all right so i was on twitter last night and i seen everybody posting pictures of k michelle and i was like wait what's going on because normally you know I, i'm real like into social media so i always know what's going on with the world and for the first time i didn't know what was going on so i clicked on the picture and i seen a link linking me up to something that was on her Instagram. Basically, I guess she bashed one of her fans, one of her great fans, and they seen her at a, a party, I'm assuming, and they wanted to take a picture with her. You know you see somebody that you really, really love, like if I would've seen Kay Michelle, I'd probably be like, hey, Ken, let's take a picture, you know? And I wouldn't expect for her to be like, mm -mm, I'm not taking no picture with you. You just don't do that to your fans. Because at the end of the day, we're your support system, you know? We basically help you. You need us just as much as we need you. We need you to make good music and you need us to support and go out there and go to your shows, your tours, your albums. You need us to do that too. So I don't see why she didn't want to take a hug, give the hug or take a picture with her. She called her also, she was like, oh, your monkey looking self. I'm not going to say everything that she said, but she said your monkey looking self and you need to find you a new weave supplier. Come on, Kay, you don't do that to your fans. It's just, it's just not right. I don't know what's going on lately. It seems like everybody has so much tension with one another. All we have to do is make good music and keep the peace. Let's just uplift one another, all right? How many of y'all went to the BET Hip Hop Awards 2013? 
Well, I was there front row. I was loving the energy, the vibe. I was loving the style, the swag, the clothes. Everybody was great. The performances were awesome. And, however, we have one of the new video releases for today, a world premiere by 2 Chainz himself. Shout out to 2 Chainz. We got his new video today called Used To. You may know the song if you bought the album, based on a true story too, or if you watch the Hip Hop Awards. Here's a new joint of the day, Used To by 2 Chainz. Hello fellow chairman of BET. I'm Tashara Scotland. I'm 20 years old and I was born and raised in the beautiful city of Miami, Florida. I'm an only child, no brothers, no sisters, just me, my mom, and my grandmother. I, uh, I grew up in a household with the, the perfect family, basically, mom, dad, and me. But, you know, people, they grow old, they grow apart. My mom and my dad, they separated, and I started living with my mother and my grandmother. And my grandma, my mom, they've been, like, my heart, my rock ever since I was little really and until now it only gets better as i get older but they always give me like encouraging words and good advice sometimes when i feel like just giving up on something they always they're always there to like catch me when i fall basically we're a praying family i'm also seven day adventist i attend church on saturdays for those of you who don't know what that is um i'm not a very religious person but i'm a, a spiritual person and i believe that Prayer really does work and changes everything. Um, even on my sad days, you would never know that I'm sad because I always have a smile on my face. That's just me. I don't like to, if I'm miserable, I don't like to bring people down with me. I like to uplift people and I like to be around uplifting people. You know, that's, that's just who I am. I have a lot of hobbies, singing, dancing. I also had a sign language group. I know how to do sign language. Um, I do hair. That's like my passion, my passion, besides music. I do hair. I'm not licensed, but I know what I'm doing. Um, also, I do a lot of things. Anything that I, I'm eager to learn or put my mind to, trust me, it will get done. Okay. Why do you want this job as host? I believe that BET, they need someone with a strong passion for music, like myself, to host this show. It just it wouldn't make sense if you have someone who really didn't care about, you know, music, to host a, a show about music videos and you're interviewing artists and actresses and stuff like that. You have to care about the entertainment industry as a whole. And I really do care for the entertainment industry. It keeps me going, it keeps me sane. So it's like, I really want this job. It's, I don't even look at it like it's just a job, like uh, I'm gonna hate it. It's more of an opportunity. Is something that I see that can open up door many more doors for me and the things that I'm trying to achieve in life. I believe that if I want to do acting or continue being a singer or anything, stylist, celebrity hairstylist, uh, makeup artist, because I can do that as well. Um, I believe that this job right here, it will open up all those doors for me at once. So why should we hire you? I believe that you guys should hire me, hire me because what's not to love about me? I'm not trying to, you know, sound like, you know, I'm bragging or I'm conceited or anything. But honestly, like, I have a very bubbly spirit. I'm very positive. Um, I know that the audience will love me. The viewers will love me. It will turn, like, a lot of people that stop watching 106 in Park, maybe after Terrence and Roxy or even Free and AJ left, I know that once I get on the show, I'll be able to bring back those same fans from back then and much, much more. I have many talents, many skills that I can share with you guys, and even things that I don't know, I'm willing and eager to learn, and if I have to, I will brush up on if necessary. I believe that I want to represent BET as a company, as a brand, not just a pretty face that's on television, because that's not what I look at it like. I see it as, like I said, a big opportunity and many people do not get this chance in life but I know that I have what it takes and I know that I will be able to complete this job so what can you bring to the table I believe that I can bring more flavor more fun fire vibrance swag style everything I can bring everything to this show just more life period and not trying to say that it's dead but I see myself on 106 in part like talking with these celebrities and 
interviewing these actors and actresses and I'm a performer myself so I know a little bit about that life I had some type of experience even though it might be minimal but it's enough for me to know you know like I can relate with these artists that are going to be coming onto the show so I feel as though the audience will love me the viewers will love me even you will love me <laughs> but I just believe that you know I, this job it, it fits me that's that's how I see it how far are you willing to go to get this job? I'm willing to make sacrifices. I'm willing to go above and beyond the limit. And I'm, I'm just willing to do whatever it takes to get this job. With that being said, I'm Tashara Scotland and I look forward to the plane tickets. And I can't wait to meet you guys. I look forward to meeting you guys. And I can't wait to hop on TV to be your new host of 106 and Park. Bye BET, see you soon.